going on guys? Curly Susie here from Cape Breton, Nova Scotia. I'm shooting a couple of videos today and one of them is this update video. So I've managed to post a few videos on my channel over the last couple of months and I just wanted to do a quick update on some of the things that I talked about in those videos including um, a hair update, an update on like my health and fitness and just like my quest to get my energy back. Um, an update on that comedy show that I shot in Dartmouth. And there was something else. Oh, and something that's like a little bit shocking that I just wanted to talk about. So anyway, guys, if you're only interested in hair, you're in luck. I'm gonna do all the hair stuff at the beginning. Um, and then we'll get into the rest of the video. Yeah. I'm shooting in my backyard today and it's beautiful out. The issue is that there might be some background noise, including but not limited to birds, helicopters, people mowing their grass, dogs barking. Uh, my husband is trimming the hedge right now, so you might hear some of that. Uh, but hopefully it shouldn't be too bad because it's really nice out. My hair right now is kind of half wet and half dry and I put mousse in it and I feel like I have a little bit of a cast. I haven't really shot any hair content in months. Um, and then I just kind of started back again. The main reason is because uh, my hair has looked the worst it's ever looked. Like I have been abusing my hair to the maximum. And I'm gonna give you some examples. So like, I've been washing my hair a ton with shampoo. Why? No reason. Just out of habit. Like I just kind of started using shampoo more. And I've been using it like sometimes more than once a week. Like sulfate free shampoo. But still shampoo that has like some type of surfactant in it. So I've been using shampoo. I've been working in the operating room a little bit more. Uh, and even when I work in endoscopy and even sometimes when I work in day surgery, I wear a scrub cap. Like even when I don't have to, because I just think it keeps my hair off my face, it looks professional, and then I don't have to style my hair that day either, right? So I have been like washing my hair, letting my hair air dry or drying it, going to work, putting a scrub cap on. The scrub caps that I have been wearing were scrub caps that one of my coworkers made and they're super like cute patterns and they look great at work, but they just crush my hair. And I haven't been caring. I've just been going for it. Um, I've also been swimming a lot. So we have a saltwater pool and I live on an island and there's literally a beach. If you drive in any direction for 15 minutes, there's a beach. So I've been swimming a ton and I'm not the type of person <laughs> to go swimming and not get my hair wet. I'm always gonna get my hair wet. And if you've been watching my channel, I've been really into exercising a lot more lately. So I've been exercising, this includes walking my dog outside where I often wear a baseball hat. Um, I teach spinning, uh, I have a road bike, so I wear a helmet sometimes. I've just been like, there's literally been no point in styling my hair. And on top of all of that, up until the last few days even, I hated my hair length. So like, I really like my hair short and I really love my hair long and I don't really like it in the middle. So right now, it's almost what I would consider like getting long again. I can't believe how fast it grew. But now I like the shape of my hair again, so I'm more excited about styling my hair and I'm more happy to make hair-related videos. So that's kind of what's been going on with my hair. Watch my hair routine video. I think my hair turned out great, especially for it being the summer and the humidity um, and all of that. I've been following the Curly Girl Method for about five years. And over the course of that five years, I've gone through phases. Oh, there's some more background noise. You're gonna hear wind here, sorry. I'll just wait for it to die down a little bit. Oh, it's very nice, the breeze. Um, but over that five years, I've gone through phases where I wash my hair with sulfate-free shampoo more, and phases where I primarily conditioner wash my hair and maybe use sulfate-free shampoo once a month. And I gotta tell ya, when I'm doing the conditioner washing, my hair looks a hundred million times better. Now, if you follow different curly hair YouTubers, and I suggest that you do, um, you may follow like Mains by Mel and other curly hair 
YouTubers that don't necessarily follow the curly girl method. And she's awesome. She's a lot of great information. She's a professional hairstylist. And I personally think she has a lot more science-based information than I have. Like when I make a video, I basically just tell you what I do. I don't research it or look into why I'm doing what I'm doing. I just conditioner wash or wash my hair, style it, see how it turns out. I come up with my own like little techniques and I share them with you. Mel delivers a little bit more science-based, I guess, science-based information that has to do with like the pH of your hair and all of these different things. So I think I was also influenced by her channel and she promotes like washing your hair more with shampoo. So she's got a point. She's got a lot of valid points. <laughs> But the bottom line is that my curl pattern is not tight. It's very loose. And if I want my curls to look like they're a little bit more spirally, like they have more moisture to them, they have more weight to them. If I want my hair to look healthier and curlier, I just need to do the conditioner washing. And I'm just super duper careful that I use products that only have ingredients that are water soluble and that I really use the mechanical action of my fingertips to remove any buildup from my scalp. So conditioner washing for me is the way to go. Um, I just did a review of some hair products. It was like one of the Maui moisture lines, like the lightweight curls plus flaxseed line, totally unsponsored. I never buy hair products, but I ran out of stuff. And so I, I did a little review and I really liked the products, but my end results were not great. My hair was really dried out and I have to be honest, it's a hundred percent because the shampoo uh, has a lot of lather and it's very cleansing. And when I shampoo my hair, I just don't get the curl definition. And I had been going through a phase where I was shampooing my hair a lot. So I really did like the conditioner. And actually for my video that I just shot about curl definition, I used the Maui Moisture Conditioner and it turned out awesome. Um, so watch that video um, if you're interested in hair stuff. And now I'm going to jump into the fitness related stuff and I'm going to try so hard not to get super excited or rant too much. 